Hello everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords to once again winter time where we are right now. In our growing town, 84 people is our total population right now. So that's 28 families and 5 of them are not assigned yet. So I think the farm right now has no one assigned to it. Uh, oh, actually four. Perfect. I thought I would. Uh, I was reassigning them, but it's fine. So we have that. And also, since last episode, we have finally also finished our livestock trading, livestock trading post over here that we are going to, yeah, need pretty soon because with that, we can import uh, quite a few animals. So for starters, the oxen, the sheep and the lambs. So the oxen, we have one in stock right now and uh, this one here will make it possible then to transport materials faster so second and third one would be good and sheep of course we do need for wool because with wool we can then also get us the clothes in right now though we are still in a building process of uh, this new residential zone so there is uh four more people five more four more it's four more <laughs> it's four more people coming out four more houses coming up with the plots just along the main road and as we can see also this main road here kind of like serves as a border right now so we do have this side here with the city and this side with nature yet but of course we can also plaster this one here with buildings if we want to our situation we are in january so winter is coming to an end soon our situation is rather good at the moment food is full thanks to having also the vegetable gardens now we are sitting at 400 vegetables some eggs uh, some bread and meat so we have plenty of everything berries are out though right so berries have not been harvested for a long time now um and they deplete rather quickly grain we still have plenty of grain in store there as well so the windmill is still continuing to work to make flour out of that two people are in it right now and the flour is then of course being made right into bread so plenty of stuff to do some of you have been pointing out that there is an upgrade button for the granary and that is completely right it's this one here i never really looked at that because i thought it's just a visual error but yeah upgrade to a large granary for three timber we can do this so let's go ahead and have this upgrade here going to take a while going to need three timber now that is being or three logs that are being over uh, transported over here and then this building here is going to be upgraded i was already wondering right because it is looking so small for the radius that it has around it so there's probably going to be a much bigger building here coming out of that but we'll just see church is also right now in the city center in all its glory with some nice music that we can add then to the village itself right here at the front of the market area that is still empty but we're going to of course add something to that soon let's just check out the other things that we have storage limit has been arrived achieved or has um limit has been reached with um also the flower here that we have lots of that so my my storehouse is full as we can see we cannot upgrade this one however so there is really no button for this um pantry limit also this means that the granary is full it is pretty full and work area is empty for the forager hut there is no berries yet so we can actually also use that workforce for something else i would like to reassign some more people again to the logging camp since we have these families here we do need more timber i mean we are sitting at 13 officially but in here we have 23 of course the reason is that some of that is being used now here for the burgages right so we don't have as much as uh, as it looks here right now um rather the 13 here is the more realistic one i would like to start working then on my new industry and that is the clothing industry for that we do have the tannery so this one converts pelts into leather leather is also more valuable than that we can use for the trading post and we should definitely have this one in my in my industry zone here so there is no um <laughs> Uh, smell pollution right in this game at the moment so we can safely place it here though in real life i would probably never really put a tannery right next to the burgage plots this is just really nasty even though there's just some gardens here right so it's not directly next to the building and then we also have the weaver workshop the flax and the wool to yarn and linen now we only do need two types of clothes so we are already getting some flax in but i don't know how much i would still like to go for some sheep farms um that we can use because it's it's probably not enough than otherwise so sheep farms we should also prepare and with that then the weaver hut let's also go ahead and build the sheep farm it only costs me one timber really so it's extremely cheap and we could uh, place it somewhere over here right so there's this road going away um and then we have the sheep farm probably somewhere over there or actually here yep this one looks better to me so it's a bit more open there right so sheep can go around here and also we can still squeeze in some more buildings then uh in that in that tiny area there very good the next house has been finished right over here we can add something we should add something right away i think yeah milk we could have a bit more of it so let's go ahead with a goat chat as the next construction 
And my regional wealth is only 35, so we could also... Can we do something here more? No, not really, right? We already got three people in it. Two of them are um, now the traveling merchants, so they are selling whatever we have in stock, leading to not being anything in stock, really, even though it says 50 to 50. I don't see that here. Um, but still, we should be selling a lot, right? So, yeah, there's still lots of pals we can sell. There's iron ore that we can sell. And wasn't there something else? There's tools we can sell, lots of them. We have so many tools, doesn't really matter how many we sell. We can always just produce more. Lots of stuff going on here in the center. As we can see, we still haven't started on the granary yet. I think I'm going to put the priority up. They're working right now very diligently there at these plots. And since the distance is quite far away, it's taking some time. Ah, and finally there it's starting. Upgrading of my granary. Very good. And as we can see, this is already looking significantly bigger than the small building that we still have there. That's going to be our primary food storage from now on. Yep, there is the facade and finished it is. Six people can be actually employed with this one here, combined to four only there. We got 500 storage in the base version and 1,500 in the upgraded version. So I'm going to, of course, assign someone. Let's assign two people to that right away. Um, and this granary here, we are probably going to make empty from now on. So there's not, no one going to work in here anymore. Uh, we cannot add any deplete button, right? But I would probably like to get rid of this building here in the near future, um, as this granary is now doing an amazing job. Now we can resume in our brokerage plots over there. There's still two more that we need to finish, and then the sheep farm. And also now for the livestock, we have six unassigned people. Let's assign someone to that. Um, and here, I would then like to import something. We do have 43 wealth. Oh, there's some selling again. Perfect. Um, to import another ox. So let's put the target to 10. It's only costing me 10 import price there, really. Um, and then also I would like to add a target of four sheep. Right. So this is where we're using our money on right now. Um, of course, also the upcoming royal tax is something we should uh, watch out for. Um, that's then with the locks, right? So once we have a few more locks again, I can start working on that. But for now, we should be fine. There's still a year, right? And we're still in February now only, so that's fine. Also, what I would like to point out over here, these fields, oh my goodness, we're going to have a pretty bountiful harvest there so as we can see present yield is already 450 the estimated harvest is going to be 600 so this is just working flawlessly over winter this is fallow for this year so there's nothing coming out of it that's okay and here we have barley with only 28 percent um fertility so that's 167 that's going to be 300 already so i'm pretty sure that even with that low fertility we're going to have enough barley for what we need all right, now the mortgage plot has been finished and the family is moving in already. I think we can also go ahead with uh, some upgrades there again. Let's go with two chicken two chicken coops. Oh no, we are actually out of wealth there again. Let's go with a vegetable garden. Let's mix it up there. So we got goats, chickens and vegetables. And I really would like to, to save some money there for the... Oh, look at that! For the train post. And we have a second ox in store. Someone has sold us one. There should be an ox now somewhere here. Or is it already on its way? There is one. Please tell me that there is another ox somewhere here now running around. Where's my hitching post? Because they will probably stay there and... Alright, I only see one ox right now, but I'm pretty sure the second one will come up soon. Um, as we are enjoying another snow melting, it's just really beautiful, the transition, right? Over the seasons, as we can see that. The other ox probably needs to be trained first. There it is! There we have it now. We have two oxen now finally walking around in our city. And he's now being delivered over here once again. Or is he now getting something from it? He's still waiting, right? Um, I do have now at the hitching post, I needed to assign a second person to that. So we have now two people working then at the hitching post. And both of them are ox handlers now. And both of them have an ox uh, while delivering logs much faster now to construction sites. Not much logs coming in here right now. Waiting. Procrastinating. Do I need to... 
put the timber a bit further away, perhaps. Yeah, I think we definitely can see now the the trees going down here, right? So the amount of trees that we have. So I might actually need to move them away there a bit. We don't have any any trees there anymore. Felling a tree. Now they're doing it again over here. And this, this area regrows now. But yeah, we are definitely out of trees here. So this is why it's taking a bit more time now. And the next woodcutter lodge because, oh yes, we do need it. We are running out of firewood at this point. And the other firewood, where is it? My logging camp, woodcutter lodge. Three people and they're all felling trees and crafting. That's how it should be. Alright, next burgage plot. Let's assign a vegetable garden to that again. So that's four more and with that more people. We're coming close to 100 now. By now, also the tannery is in construction. And I think, yeah, also here the woodcutter is coming close. So we have two construction sites right now, and at both there are plenty of people doing it. So construction is happening just very quickly. Unfortunately, we're still very low on timber, so this really should, really should get cracking here now. Yes, they're already gathering. And of course, we do need an ox for every log that is being chopped down, right? So this is also why it's important to have several uh, oxen because it's just speeding up the whole process here, as we can see. It's getting over there already, pushing at us to 10 timber again. And there you go, tannery. And yeah, we do have enough people, so let's assign someone to that. And he will now make leather out of pelts. And also, the next woodcutter lodge is finishing up right over here. There it is. Let's assign some... Let's go, ah, let's assign one person for it now. And yeah, over here we have then the forest for that. Even though it's not a very dense forest, it should be fine for just one woodcutter. And I totally forgot about my sheep farm. <laughs> it's always under construction, also close to completion already. We don't have any sheep in stock yet, though. Uh, 24 wealth it is, so one sheep we could afford, most likely. But we'll just see when a trader is delivering that. And there you go, sheep farm finished. Now we just need to wait for some sheep and then I can assign someone to that. Also what I can finally start is the construction of my manor area. So this is the bailey wall, this is 11 logs, this is going to take quite some time before we can finish this. And then we can also add a, a gatehouse right somewhere here, either here or actually here. This one would look pretty cool I think, uh, close then to my market area and stuff like that. Very good. And then we can have the manor house in here and more importantly the tax office that we are going to need for additional for the tax income then basically that also gives me then some wealth livestock one sheep we have it the first sheep has arrived let's get a sheep herder out there so thomas you're doing the job you're in it for the for the sheepies and yes this is the face of a sheep herder he is ready for action while walking around in other people's backyards by the way, I never really noticed people are really going to church. The door is opening. They go in and pray and go out again. And also construction of the manor area starts. But of course, it's going to be a pretty big construction. I just hope that this time uh, we don't have any problems with elevation. It's looking good. It's looking like good flat terrain there that we have. And of course, the whole village is helping. Ah, by now also the other fire, a woodcutter lodge has started its work. So Erhard here is doing it. And we can already see that the firewood is going up again. Even though, of course, it is spring right now. So there's not that much need for firewood anymore as in winter. Now we have nine more timber. I would like to use this to just build us a few more burgages. And let's just find us a suitable location. Um, I think here we could add some, right? So this one would be a good location for it, right beside the, the church. This could work out that we have two there. Oh, we just keep this one empty for now. And yeah, let's have them here. 
at the moment. I think this is safer to add some more brokerages than here in this area. Extending our residential zone then to the iron mine already. And I think it doesn't need to be that big. That's looking fine. And mm, going for the whole duration, this is just huge then. We could also make it smaller. Yes. Being this small, we could then squeeze in some more burgages here, right? So this would work out. Or something else. We'll just see about that. Some more constructions bringing us down to one timber only. Those three people should hopefully be working. Or, hmm... Yeah, there's lots of timber over there right now. Six timber lying around, so the oxen should do a, tr uh, a good job. Can I assign a third one? I don't think so. I think then the hitching post should be full, right? Because we can only have two people here. Let's just go for a third ox. Let's make the target to three. Even though, right, it's, it's pretty expensive, so it's going to take us a while. And always, I know a lot of you are suckers for it, so let's just have a quick look around in our gorgeous cloak and shoes. A, a nice spring walk, getting out of the house, getting some fresh air. Here in my new residential zone. Oh, we can even fast backtrace here. Backtrack. <laughs> And as we get closer to the city center, it's getting more dense. We can already see the church ahead. Right here where stuff is happening, right? So the industry zone over there. We got our farm. The church, of course, sitting on a, uh, standing on an empty market area for now. The old granary, which is probably going to get destroyed soon. The whole town is already talking about it. And over there, then, our new manor area that is coming along now but it's still going to take a while, of course, on this fine sunny spring day. Also, the berry bushes have regrown, so it's spring, of course, in the forager hut. Let's assign someone to that again. Even though we're sitting at 800 food at this point, it's just crazy. Uh, the vegetables are still going up like crazy. The bread is in there, 170 eggs by now, and 89 milk. So plenty of food, right? The oven is busy all year getting or processing all that flour because it is a lot of flour that my windmill here is doing and I think for now though we are out of uh, yep we're out of grain so just at the beginning of March we're out of it so we can stop the windmill for now and people can do something else for example working in the farm let's assign one more person to that so we have two unassigned that I can still use for something else but there's going to be a bountiful harvest for emmer and for barley yeah, manor area is also coming along. Halfway through, I'd say. And we still have 286 days for this mission. Oh, and by the way, yes, of course, we do need to send a pasture to the sheep farm. I didn't even notice, right? So right now we have a livestock capacity of zero, even though there is one sheep here already in it. It is totally confused of what it should be doing. So we do need to add something here. So it's just like similar with the fields, we do need to add a pasture to this area. Um, and of course, I would like to go ahead and just have it right over there. But we can have this. Is it going to take a while? No, it's actually filled right now and 30 sheep could uh, be squeezed in then here. Also assign that and it should actually then work, right? Going somewhere, the herder. It's still at zero, so hopefully this works then. We're just going to wait it out. That's a good location for it and that sheep has a, a fantastic view really down into the foggy valley. Very good, finally our sheep herder, two of them, wait, wait a second, no there's only one, I guess one is just doing it out of a hobby, and there he is again, Thomas, and he's now finally doing what, doing his tr true life purpose, right, <laughs> herding sheep and enjoying the view. We also have a third oxen in store, so we have finally purchased one more. 10 regional wealth, okay. And there it is, right? So it's coming in with a trader there now. And I think we actually use all three right now. Two are at the hitching post. 
there's one, two. Or do we not have the third one yet? Could also be out here gathering logs. Hmm. I still need to keep my eye out for the third one. So there it is, the third one now on its way, gathering logs, right? While the other one is delivering logs, and another one yet again is here at the manor house delivering logs as well. So we have everything, all three of them are working now. This should speed up the economy significantly. So far so good. Stay tuned.